Hello, hi guys, hi. In this video, we are going to be learning how we created this crazy waves transition, which got me about 1.5 million views and about 10,000 followers on social media. In case you do not know me, my name is Karth Kane and I train video editors to edit top notch videos. And let's get into the video. We are going to be dividing this video into three parts, the shot, the UI and the effect of the transition. Now coming to the short part, as you can see, I have two different clips where there is one where I'm acting as if there is something coming from the top. And second, as you can see, I have a clip where I'm drenched in water, right? So there is water. And if I look at the clip, as you can, someone is pouring water using a pipe. I'm completely drenched. I'm just acting as if, you know, something happened, right? So I hope I'm acting well, right? So I just go here. As you can see, I have this before, I have this after, right? I have this before, I have this after. And I want this entire scene to look like it's happening on an Instagram feed, right? So if you look at the original clip, as you can see, there is a post in the top. Right? And then there is a post in the bottom and the water is flowing from the top post to the bottom post, right? That's what. Quickly, I'm going to go to the color page and just going to add some color grading. As you can see, I've just added some color grading. Uh, this is not a color grading tutorial, but if you're interested to learn more about color grading, let me know in the comments. I'll make a detailed tutorial on how you can color grade the footage, right? So as you can see, this is before. After. Before is very dull. It's a raw clip. But as you can see, it has been color grade really nice. I'm just going to come back. As you can see, this is ready. I wanted to make it feel like the waves are coming from the top post of the Instagram and it comes to on top of me and it goes right. So I have to set up the UI of Instagram. So I'm going to go to the tutorial back and I have already downloaded the elements. As you can see, the follow button, as you can see on screen, I've made also this like, I've made this, you know, a planet and pixel, my name with my photograph, my save and everything. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop them in the bottom. So I'm just going to extend this like this. I'm going to get this like, as you can see, I'm just going to get the like, my logo. I'm going to get the save. I'm going to get the verified badge, as you can see. I'm going to select all of them. I'm just going to drag them so that it just comes here. As you can see now, it just looks really cool, right? So, but as you can see, it doesn't look that great. So I'm going to add a background. So I'm just going to take everything to the top. I'm going to go here to the FX panel. As you can see, I'm going to search for solid color, right? Solid color, drag and drop here into the timeline. I'm just going to drag and drop this. X on this, nothing has changed. Why? Because the default color is black. I'm going to go here, change it to white. Something like this, as you can see, already starts to look very nice, right? So I'm going to go here. But as you can see, my uh, Instagram page handle is not very clearly visible. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this UI elements. I'm going to take it to the top. And now I'm going to add another solid layer here. As you can see, I'm going to extend this, right? So yes, like this. Now I'm going to go to the inspector, click on settings. I'm going to go to cropping. I'm going to crop the bottom like this somewhere here. I'm going to also crop the top like this somewhere here, as you can see. So now I'm going to add some softness. So something like this, I'm going to reduce the opacity, something like this, right? So I'm going to reduce, increase the softness. I'm going to crop the top. I'm going to crop the bottom. So now, as you can see, if I just disable or enable this by pressing the key D, Disable, enable, it makes a lot of difference, right? So now we have created the UI for the bottom layer, right? So as you can see, just plays, this comes like this, and then this happens, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of them to organize, right click, I'm gonna create a new compound clip. It's gonna package everything into a single clip. I'm gonna say this is maybe bottom, bottom layer, right? I'm just gonna click. And now as you can see, everything is packed here. Everything is looking good. And as you can see, there is something happening here on the top. There's a little bit of, you know, a spillover of the um, the background layer that we have added. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna go to the uh, cropping. I'm gonna increase the cropping like this. Perfect. So as you can see, now it just feels like it's a proper post, right? By the way, guys, we recently had a meetup with our editor students who have collectively gained more than millions of followers and are editing top-notch videos for their clients. And if you want to learn video editing or boost your video business, definitely check out the link in the description and you can book a call with us. Let's now get back to the video. So now we are moving on to the waves transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this clip on top. As you can see on screen, let me just quickly play it. It just comes on top. Yeah, as you can see, the wave comes, 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 comes. It just comes. I'm just going to reduce the opacity just to make sure, you know, the timings get matched. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to play here and then I'm going to play, play, play. Yeah. So at this point, I want, you know, me acting like this. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to trim this. I'm going to get it to the back. This goes. I'm going to trim it more. I'm going to take it to the back. So I'm just matching the timing. So just feel, yeah, as you can see, I'm looking to the top and then it just feels like it just comes. It just covers me and then it goes away. Right. So yeah, perfect. I'm going to time it till here and everything is sorted, right? So now I have to also create the UI for our Instagram page for the top post, right? I'm going to click on this. So for that, before I'm just going to increase the opacity, as you can see, and I'm going to crop the bottom. 
of this video as you can see i'm just going to crop 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 so that it just probably goes till here it's, it's a good place so that you know i can have you know the like button share button and everything here now just like what we did for the previous video i'm going to add the instagram ui and i'm going to fast forward this part i'm going to go here perfect as you can see i've added this instagram like share and everything and to make everything visible i'm going to take all the layers to the top i'm going to add a solid layer in the bottom i'm going to extend this till here and i'm going to change the color to white right i'm just going to click on this i'm going to change the color to white perfect looks like an instagram page everything is awesome as you can see the video comes it just goes like this and then it comes out perfect so now we are going to create the transition and the transition is created using the waves clip right so i'm going to click on this i'm going to duplicate this by pressing and holding alt i'm going to take it to the top as you can see i'm going to see where the transition starts around this point as you can see i'm just going to trim it right just comes like this the way has to come to the bottom it has to go to the top perfect so it looks nice so as you can see i have also cropped the clip so i'm going to click on this i'm going to remove the cropping right as you can see i'm just going to remove the cropping of bottom so it just comes like this so now the top video comes like this it goes it comes back right so how do we remove the sand right so or how do we make the waves come on top right so a lot of people commented on the instagram post saying that it's masking 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 is when you use a shape right to create an alpha to show something not show something right just like how you are seeing me inside a circle in this tutorial right so that is masking but what we are going to use is keying keying is the process where you use the color information to create an alpha what we are going to do is we are going to go search here for 3d keyer i'm going to search for 3d keyer and drag and drop this on top of this video as you can see on screen right so now you might ask kartikeyan 3d keyer is only for green screen right no 3d keyer is for any color i can also remove the t-shirt that i'm wearing right now or i can remove any color in information using 3d care i'm going to go here and as you can see the waves are little mushy right it's it's little uh, too busy or complex so instead of you know masking the waves what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here i'm going to select right and then i'm going to select this sand so it, as you can see it's very clean the sand is very very clean i'm going to select this as you can see it's decent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this plus icon i'm going to come here and i'm going to select this area as well and as you can see now we have removed this i'm going to go to the matte finish i'm going to increase the blur a little bit so yes perfect as you can see so now it feels like the waves are going to come out of the screen it's going to cover up and now it's going to go back but as you can see it's not very perfect when it's going back so what we're going to do is we're going to come here we're going to cut this clip by pressing control b or command b i'm going to click on this i'm going to you know probably reset this 3d care i'm going to wait Yes, so I'm going to again go and select sand here because the sand color in the previous example and this has completely changed, right? So I'm going to go here, I'm going to select this and now I'm going to come here and let's see, I'm going to select more of this area. Perfect, as you can see. I'm going to select more of this area. Perfect, all the sand is removed. So now let's see this. Yes, perfect. So it's just going to go like this. It comes back, right? Like this, right? So as you can see, it just moves out, but it's not very perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, click on the keyframes for um, opacity. I'm going to click on 100%. And after a while, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make it 0%, as you can see. Perfect, right? So when I play this video, it's going to look like this. It just goes out. And then now it's just going to come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. As you can see, it just disappears. And now, so as you can see, the timing is not matching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend all of this. I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to create another compound clip. Right click, new compound clip. I'm just going to go here, say this is waves wipe. I'm going to click on create and now as you can see everything is on the top but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some speed ramp so I'm just going to go here as you can see the waves come so I'm just going to press command R I'm going to click on this add a speed point it just keeps going just comes out like this yeah I'm just going to yeah where it's visible a little bit I'm going to go here add a speed point and now I'm going to press on the stop handle as you can see I'm just going to speed it up speed ramp it like this maybe let's just check it okay Ah, so as you can see, it just comes out. The transition is visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this to the right a little bit. Yeah, perfect. So as you can see, I'm just going to play this. This goes down, it comes out, comes out, comes out. And now, wow, as you can see, there's one problem. The top video stopped. So I'm going to go open this in timeline. I'm going to extend this even further. I'm going to select all of this, extend this, all of this further. Perfect. I'm going to come back. 
now we're going to play this comes out perfect awesome right so as you can see guys you know if you divide the entire editing process into multiple steps it's always going to work i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to help you